has your z-axis stopped working well in this video i'm going to show you how to fix it Hey, welcome back everybody. Gun Psychiatrist here. Recently, I've been doing some work to my 3D printer. Outside of all the headaches I've been having with it, there's one issue I ran into that I managed to find a fix for. And usually whenever I run into an issue on a 3D printer, I first start by searching the internet and forums to see if other people are having the same problem. So a lot of times it's usually dealing with firmware issues. Well, there is one firmware issue that I was able to identify, find, and fix if your Ender 3 is doing this you go to home the z-axis and it just doesn't want to go down the bl touch freaks out and it sends an m999 code to reset your system hey but before we get started if you find these videos helpful consider smashing that like button down below and also consider subscribing to the channel if you're finding these and all the various other videos i do helpful so what's the synopsis of the issue here so the issue that people are reporting having is the z-axis will not move down so let me give a little bit of detail because it's not a very prevalent issue, but I also think it's one that enough people are having to where there's a lot of issues on it. And even on the Big Tree Tech uh, GitHub for the SKRE3 Turbo Board, there's also an open pull request for that. So what happened? How did I get into this situation? Well, I got a stable version of Marlin built and running on my 3D printer several years ago and doing these updates that I've been doing in my printer, I had to change some parameters. You know, I added a mosquito hot end. And with adding that hot end, I also add the uh, 300C thermistor from Slice Engineering, which of course required a firmware change. Problem is it's been about two years since I updated my firmware and I found out the hard way that, uh, well, Marlin has faced the same thing. It's gone through a lot of updates. The workaround to it all was downloading the latest bug fix from Marlin, which on my system, I'm running uh, 2.1x from Marlin. I just downloaded it about a few weeks ago and I started over fresh and redid all of my stuff. As soon as I flashed that firmware over my printer, the Z-axis thing started happening. Go ahead and pull out our SD card. Come over here to configuration, advanced settings, initialize EEPROM. All right, then you got a motion, then we got an auto home. And as soon as we hit auto home, this is what's happening. This is the problem people are having. it will not probe downward. And then if you try to move Z, it will not move down. It will not move down no matter what you do. Since you have viewed the actual issue that I was having, which I'm assuming many other people are having the same exact issue, what I wanna do is go into the firmware and show you the changes that need to be made to stop this issue from happening, or at least this is what was successful for me in my scenario. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down, open up our configuration.h file. And once you have that open, hit the control and the F button simultaneously to search and type in Z probe. And this is gonna bring up the section under Z probe options. For people in the past that have used Big Tree Tech boards uh, and, and specifically with BL Touch users, but I think if I could remember that I would always enable Z min probe, use Z min and stop pin. Well, in the event that you're gonna take that black and white wire and plug it into the Z min and stop. However, for the SKR E3 Turbo, you don't need to do that because it actually has a BL Touch port 
that incorporates all five pins for the BL touch on the main board. So this is the first issue that is going to cause that problem because it's going to try to home and it's going to say, huh, there's no ZN stop hooked up. I'm not detecting anything. And it's, of course, going to halt the printer and it's only going to go up instead of down. So we're going to go ahead and start by commenting this part out. And then we want to open up our warnings folder. And if you don't have a warning solder that pops up if you have any problems here in your output that is going to be where you're going to solve it so if you're using two z stepper motors i don't know why this comes up but to me it doesn't look right so this item here on line 201 that starts on 201 this if function we want to go ahead and relabel this for the bl touch pin on the e3 turbo which is going to be pin one underscore 22 and the same thing down here the z2 use end stop pin one underscore 22 at this point you can go ahead and just compile your firmware these are the two fixes that i found that i changed in my firmware to make the problem stop happening and make the homing feature work again All right, so now we've successfully flashed Marlin bug fix, and we want to go ahead and retrieve our uh, our .bin file, which you're going to find under Mar Marlin bug fix 2.1. If you've never done this, this is where you're going to find it. You're going to go under PIO, and then your build folder, and then LPC 1769, which is going to be the environment that you're building under. And this firmware.bin file right here, you would just right click and copy, and then of course paste it to your SD card. So now we're going to go ahead and reinsert our card back in here and flash the fixed firmware over here. Turn the power on. Successfully flashed. We're going to go ahead and run a configuration, advance, ZPROM. Now, let's see if this was a uh, Let's see if this was successful. We've got a motion, auto home. There we go. Hi, you doing? All right, well, upon successfully flashing this new firmware update, we can see that we've actually fixed the problem now. This is what I did to make it work. I know several users on Reddit and of course others out there on the uh, Big Tree Tech GitHub are also having the same issue. This is what I did to fix it. So I hope that this fixes your problem. If not, drop me a, a comment down below, or if this is just not the right way of going about it, you know, leave that feedback as well. You're not gonna offend me one bit. So anyways, I hope this fixes everybody's problem out there that is having this issue. I know it can be very frustrating with the amount of time that you put into writing your firmware only for it to have an issue. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful in any way, consider smashing that like button. And of course, consider giving me a subscribe. I kind of do a little bit of everything now. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel. I'm the Gun Psychiatrist signing off. And until next time, God bless America again.